Samson Grand Prix 1927. The French Société des Motors Samson was a pioneering force in the development of aircraft and aero engines. Indeed, many historians consider Samson's as the most notable of the radial aero engines produced during WWI. In 1918 the company produced over 3,200 SAL 2A2 biplanes, fitted with their own 9-cylinder 270 horsepower engine. At this time, the workforce of 9,000 could produce 700 aero engines, 1,500 magnetos, and 300 complete aircraft each month. When war was over, Samson diversified into other activities including manufacturing machine tools and automobile bodies and from 1919 onwards produced a lightweight cycle car, a built under license GN, of which several thousand were made. The first of Samson's own designs appeared in 1921. The work of Mile Petty, this featured a cycle car type chassis, shaft drive and a differential less back axle, and was powered by a 1,100 cc overhead valve for a St. Andrews cross radiator motif made the little Samson instantly recognizable and the firm was unusual in producing almost every component of the car itself, including the Magneto. Competition successes, most notably first, second and fourth place finishes in the 1921 Boulogne races, came early. From 1922 Samson commenced production of a more advanced engine of the twin overhead camshaft type. This kind of power unit had been seen prior to WWI, but Samson was the first to put one into series production and twin overhead camshaft engines would remain a fixture of its range into the 1950s. One of the most noteworthy types was the 1927 twin supercharged straight 8, which is known to have inspired Vittorio Gino when he designed the fabulous Alfa Romeo 2300 engine. Also introduced in 1927 was the most famous of all racing Samsons, the Grand Sport, Grand Prix, GSGP. 18 cars of this type were produced for racing only, of which only two complete examples are believed to exist today. First used by the works in 1926 and offered to customers for the first time in 27, the GSGP was the last of this particular series of racing Samsons and featured the latest version of the San Sebastian dock engine that had already been seen in some examples of the preceding GSS and GSC models. The San Sebastian took its name from Samson driver George's Casas victory in the Cycle Car Grand Prix at the Spanish Circuit in 1925. As fitted to the Grand Sport and Grand Prix models, this engine, equipped with a Cosette No. 8 supercharger and twin plug ignition, produced around 80-85 bhp at 4,000 revolutions per minute, which was good enough for a top speed at Montlory of around 156 km per hour, 97 miles per hour. Chassis features included a four-speed gearbox, four-wheel per rear brakes and the differential less back axle. Samson's were the class of the field in the mid-1920s, winning countless Voiturette races at international level including the Targa Florio 1,100cc class in 1926 and 1927. The car offered here, chassis number 602, the second built in the GSGP Limited series, was delivered new on 5th of September 1927 to SMS London, Samson's British agent, where it joined 605, 606 and 612. In 1929 it was displayed at the Olympia Motor Show in London and bought on the stand by Victor Darrington, boss of VW Darrington Limited, one of the pioneers of the performance conversion industry. Darrington had started in the motorcycle business and ended up supplying 90% of the market for the famous Brooklyn's Can Silencer that was mandatory at the Surrey racetrack from 1922 onwards. From racing motorcycles he graduated, via Morgan three-wheelers to four wheels in the form of the Samson. In his book, The History of Brooklyn's Motor Course, Bill Boddy, longtime editor of Motorsport Magazine, records the Light Car Club's relay race held on 18 July 1932 in which Darrington's team of one supercharged and two normally aspirated Samsons finished second, the blown car, 602, having lapped at around 87 miles per hour later that same year in the Barks August Junior Mountain Handicap. Darrington Samson won at an average speed of 58.5 miles per hour. 
Of the many cars Darrington owned, the Somson was his greatest favorite and he kept it for many years. Never licensed for road use, the car was always stored indoors at his factory and looked after by trained mechanics led by Bugatti restorer Ivan Dudin's father. The Somson was later purchased by George Hampson, of Waverly. Surrey who is recorded as its owner when the car was first registered for the road as 127th in September 1971. In 1976 Mr. Hampson sold the Somson to Cantess Olsen and the car was registered in his wife's name. When the car changed hands in 1976 it was as raced many years previously by Victor Darrington, essentially unchanged since the 1930s and still incorporating modifications made at that time including the fitting of 19 well base wheels instead of the beaded as originals. A lowered chassis, stiffened at the front, and a replacement XL7 crankcase are the only other changes recorded in the Somson register. A careful checkup revealed the Somson to be in very good mechanical condition and the car ran strongly. The ex Darrington Somson was kept by the Alsons until 2003 when it passed to the vendor. While in the current ownership the car has been mechanically rebuilt by Novo Restoration Automobile, of Marolles in Hieropoix, France, famous Bugatti specialist with previous Somson experience. The staggered two-seater coachwork and interior remain original. Representing state-of-the-art Grand Prix engineering in its day, this wonderful Somson is offered with a substantial file of history including its original, 1971, logbook, copy old UK V5 and current V5C registration documents, copy, Somson register entry, rebuilt invoices and photographs, 2003, various press cuttings and Somson literature, period photographs, and assorted previous owner correspondence.